to the Kick How To Training video on how to calibrate the SPS profiler. In this training video, you will learn how to identify the hardware and software needed for calibration, calibration procedure documents, and how to use the SPS utility software. In this portion of the How To video on SPS calibration, you will learn how to identify the hardware and the software needed for calibration. Here you will see the calibrator, the simulator, the thermocouple or TC adapter, and how they connect to the SPS profiler. The calibrator simulator, shown in this example, is the type that KIC uses, but you can use any type of simulator that meets the requirements for K-type thermocouple. In this portion of the how-to training video, we will show you how to obtain your own copy of the SPS calibration documentation by following the instructions shown in this video. Please go to www.kickthermal.com as shown in this video. When you reach the Kick website, you will see the home page shown in this video. Click on the support in the upper right hand corner of the home page menu to open the support menu. From the support menu, click on the contact support to open the list of Kick support contacts. Please choose the support contact from the worldwide list that is closest to you. Using the email address of the support contact that is best for you, please email to request a copy of the SPS calibration manual. Once you have emailed and made contact with your local Kick support, the Kick technical support will help you obtain and use the SPS calibration documentation. In this portion of the how to training video, you will learn how to use the SPS software utility. Before using the SPS software utility, make sure you have all other Kick software closed. If you do not already have the profiling software 2G, please make sure to follow the instructions in this video to go to www.kickthermal.com and download the correct software for calibrating the SPS profiler. After you have installed the profiling software 2G, or if it's already installed, please again ensure that no other Kick software is running and then follow the instructions in this video to locate the SPS software utility. Once you have located the SPS software utility, double click on the software utility icon to launch the application. When the SPS utility launches, you should see two windows open as shown in this video. When you see the pop-up window message for the frequency filter, just click OK. Next, turn on and connect the SPS profiler to the PC via the USB cable. Then click on the refresh button as shown in this video to make sure the profiler is correctly displayed as shown in the video. If you do not see the SPS profiler displayed as shown in the video, repeat the steps of turning on the profiler, connecting the cable, and clicking on the refresh button. If you are unable to troubleshoot the connection on your own, please contact your local Kick technical support. Once the SPS profiler and data is properly displayed in the upper window, make sure it is displaying the correct number of channels that matches your profiler. Please set the temperature scale to the correct value you want to use, then go down to the calibration log in the lower window and click on the set idle button as shown in this video. Now connect the kick TC side of the kick calibration adapter to the SPS profiler and the single TC connector to the calibrator simulator as shown in this video. Make sure that the calibrator simulator is set to the same temperature measurement scale set in the utility software. You must also choose the low limit temperature in your calibrator simulator. Kick uses 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit as a default value, but you may set a value that best meets your requirements. Once you have set the low limit temperature value on your calibrator simulator, Go back to the calibration log and click on Get Current TC button. You will see below the temperatures displayed in the calibration log as shown in the video.
If all the temperature readings displayed in the calibration log are within plus minus 1.2 degrees Celsius or 2 degrees Fahrenheit of the calibration simulator set point, your profiler is considered to be measuring within tolerance on the low limit. Now you must follow the same procedure for the high limit values. Please follow the same steps above, but now set your calibrator simulator to 300 degrees Celsius or 572 degrees Fahrenheit. If both low and high limit temperature readings are within plus minus 1.2 degrees Celsius or 2 degrees Fahrenheit of the calibrator simulator set point, you do not need to proceed and run the calibration procedure for this profiler. If any of your readings were not within 1.2 degrees Celsius or 2 degrees Fahrenheit of the calibrator simulator set point, please follow the instructions in this next video to calibrate your SPS profiler. Next, make sure to set the calibrator simulator to the same value as shown in the video example. Once you have completed setting up the offset setting in the utility, click on the start button to start the SPS utility measuring the profiler TC inputs. Note, the number of run box counts upwards as shown in the video. Once the measurements run are completed, you will see the results indicated in the lower calibration log window as shown in the video. After the offset measurements are completed and you see the results of the calibration log, now you can set up for the gain adjust calibration check. Please use the default value in the gain adjust or you can enter in another value if necessary. Please also make sure to set the calibration simulator to the same value as shown in the video. Once the software utility and the hardware are set correctly, press the start button as shown in the video to start the measurements. Once the gain adjust measure are complete, you, you will see all readings populated in the appropriate data fields in the software utility. Please also look to see that you have a message that indicates that the calibration is successful. In this training video, you have learned how to identify the hardware and the software needed for calibration, how to use the SBS calibration documentation, and obtain a copy of your own calibration procedure document how to use the SPS utility software. And after completing the how-to instructions in this video, you should have everything needed to complete your own SPS profiler calibration. Thank you for watching this how-to video for SPS calibration. If you would like more information on our products or have any questions, please go to our website at www.kickthermal.com. Thank you and we appreciate your business.